Hello everybody, John here. We are playing Space Engineers and today I'm going to show you a piston door. So say you've been out mining ore in your trusty steed and you're ready to come back to base. So this is the, the call button here. In uh, multiplayer you just radio in to your friend say hey hey buddy open up the door I'm ready to come in. But we are just going to adjust just four motors and throw them up to positive 97 and this will only take a second or two all right exit out of here and there it goes it's our bay doors, cargo bay doors. Obviously, you can see space through the other side. I haven't built the ship around it yet. Uh, it's just uh, pretty much to show the concept. So let's fly up in here, in here and see how it works. And basically, I call it a piston door because it works basically how a, a car piston works. Uh, in a car piston, you'd have a little gasoline explosion which would send the piston in a linear motion being held in place by some landing gear and uh, that linear motion through some rods and gears and crankshaft is converted into a rotational movement which then r rotates your tires and moves your car uh, this is basically the same thing except the power is on the other end the power is supplied by this one motor right here uh, the other two motors are, are dummy motors. They're just basically hinges. Uh, and basically when this rotates, it moves these rods, which then moves this piston in a linear motion, and which opens and closes the door. All right, just did a little cut there. I uh, got back rotating in the opposite direction. Now there are a few key points when working with piston doors. The first uh, we have to remember this is the one with the power. This first rod I would like to call the measurement rod. Basically your door or whatever you're trying to move with the piston is going to move double this minus one if you do a full rotation, full 180 degrees. Uh, I mean obviously that can vary if you do fractions of degrees. Right now I think I have it about 12 degrees off as you can see the, the walls aren't quite touching uh, it's just for ex experimental purposes they were they were kind of hitting each other at first um, second off the second one has to be longer than the first one if if it's not it's not gonna work um, I'm not an engineer uh, I just play one on the internet in a video game but uh, I used a 3 to 1 ratio, which seemed pretty good. This is 7, this is 21. And uh, the shorter the second rod here seems to me the more horizontal forces pushing against these landing gear causing more damage. This will take damage every once in a while. I have built this on a pretty epic scale. You can just make little tiny doors with this. Uh, so those are things to remember and what else uh, all these landing gears just for stability because these things were moving and stopping and going it was giving me some wobble and I even had to put some more engines on uh, the pistons themselves or you know the the door wedges because uh, I was getting a little up and down wobble and you can't put landing gear on the top or bottom of this because and this is an important one these pistons are actually a little bigger than one block. So you have. See so if we let me let me try to demonstrate this. There we go. So all right, put a block there. Now you can barely tell, but that block is a little bit shorter than that piston. So even even if I tried to put landing gear on top or bottom it wouldn't touch it um, the other side there'd be a gap and the other side it wouldn't let me put it because it'd be too close uh, I think that's about it 
I would love to see other people's creations. This might be able to be condensed. I might be able to, you know, chop this off here and get rid of all this because this is actually pretty large, especially when it's opened. Uh, a lot bigger than I thought when I started building it, but I thought, why not? Go big or go home. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave leave a like if you did. Please subscribe. I plan on doing more. I've only been putting out about one video a week. I will be upping that. I'm still getting used to the whole YouTube thing. This is my third video. And, uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time.